Okay, so let's name this uh, alkane, or draw the structure of this name, I guess. It says 3-cyclopropyl pentane. So remember, whenever we're doing this, these um, structures, the first thing we want to do is cover up everything except for the base or root of the name. So we're going to draw pentane first. So remember, that's five carbons, so one, two, three, four, five, like that. And now, we cover up the pentane and look at everything else. So on the three carbon, one, two, three, on that carbon, there's a cyclopropyl group, okay? So remember, if we, we said it was a methyl group or something, we'd just put a little CH3. But since it's a cyclopropyl group, right, we're going to put a cyclopropane ring there, okay? And remember also, it's got to connect to a carbon, unlike a lot of you were trying to do with the cyclohexyl or cyclopentyl when you were putting it in between two carbons, okay? So remember, um, so effectively, what we got is the three pentane, so we're going to put our R group there, and the cyclopropyl group that has the R and a cyclopropane like that. So we're just going to stick those two together. And I know we're doing this the long way, but I wanted everybody to remember. So we're just going to take those two R's and stick them together. So when we do that, we're going to stick that little triangle on there. And we got our structure. Okay. So that's three cyclopropyl pentane. Any questions on that one? Questions on that one? I just thought it was interesting. No, it's a good one. Yeah, it's definitely a good one.